Hey there, it's Beth from Rock Your Notebook, and I've got another very quick tutorial for you. I'm working in a Kair size traveler's notebook insert, which is actually, it's 5 by 8.25 when closed, but when open, you have like a whole 10 inch spread when you're looking at two pages together. And I'm just using uh, the really quick technique of uh, basically scraping the paint on the page with an old card and um, I never have a plan when I start these. You know, I just kind of pick some paint, pick whatever medium I want to use and then I just go for it. I was not exactly happy with what I did on the left hand side page uh, of blocking it completely in the blue but like I said I never have a plan and I just kind of went through it so the first paint that I set down was a Liquitex heavy body paint and then the second paint I'm setting down here is the dilutions paint and I really love this color um, but you can see it's kind of got like a transparency going on here it's not fully opaque and I like it and I don't like it at the same time in the end, I really ended up happy with uh, this spread, and in real time, it only took me like 10 minutes, so I only sped this up just a little bit um, because the process is super easy. It's not one that you really have to like pay attention to. So one tip when you're low on time, scraping the paint on with the card like this it really, really cuts down on your drying time uh, because you're putting on such a thin layer of paint. So it takes a very, very small amount of time to dry. Like even if you don't own a heat gun, it still wouldn't take you a long time to let this paint dry because it's such a thin layer and acrylic paint tends to dry very quickly. I usually add colors um, in groups of three so when you see me doing things um, it's just so you have more interest to the page and I know the last video I had only three colors and the same thing with this video the second paint that I laid down is just a metallic paint that is also not extremely opaque um, so I like that you can kind of see all of the paint shining through if that makes sense <laughs> Um, then I have these old mixed media burlap uh, sheets of paper, you could say. There's burlap on the top and then the back of it, and you'll see it in a second here when I flip it over to tape it. Then the back is like a smooth uh, cardstock kind of thing. And so that's so that you can tape them on or glue them on, whatever. And then last year, I purchased the um, collage sheets from Ranger. I think it is Diane Revley that created these. And I actually need to find the rest of them so I can finish cutting these out. But I like to cut them out and have them already ready to go. And then I just kind of dig through and see what I can find. That way it's easier um, to pick something. You know, it's already cut out and I can Play around with it on the on the page as you see me doing here so I have them cut out some of them and I'm just digging through them to pick what I want and again this makes it super easy it gives you a moment to play and get creative and have some fun um, when you're short on time like if you have a lot of time you can do all kinds of things but if you don't have a lot of time this is a great way to get creative so I'm just literally going to stick everything down and then this spread is done. Um, and again, it's just a really quick and easy way to do these things. I am going to try and link everything down in the description box of um, where I got like the collage sheets at least. So you can check those out because they are a lot of fun. Like look at that grumpy cat. <laughs> He's just awesome. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick video, and if you did, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below, and I would love to know what you think about these quick and easy spreads that I'm doing in my Traveler's Notebooks. Are, are you learning anything from them? Are you enjoying them? I would really like to know that. 
So uh, just leave me a note in the comments and I can see that and respond. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Bye.